All right, what's up everybody? Today, we are gonna take a look at the Surinoya Elf Aging. I've got the eight foot two model here uh, in casting. I've had this rod for about, uh, I would say two months now. And uh, I gotta say that I kinda like this rod. And we'll take a look at the rod from the butt section. We've got this uh, end cap here with some that's a very hard plastic there with some uh, some purple metal insert there and it's got a logo on the bottom there. Kind of hard to see because of uh, the position of the camera and everything like that. A small um, grip there at the end of the butt. Firm, That's, this is kind of a little on the spongy side actually, but um, yeah, it's got a Fuji real seat and it's got that same kind of uh, grip that I've got on some other rods, not the Pure Zero, but um, on the, the Mavlos Plume and the Acehawk AG Venom, they both have this pretty much exact grip, uh, but this is a kind of like a matte black. It, it doesn't have a gloss or a uh, any sort of like fleck or anything like that through it, but yeah, it's very comfortable. And the foregrip here is, is a pretty comfortable side, size, uh, even though, you know, my hand sort of comes down to here but no complaints with that and then obviously you got that x wrap look through there and also that nice detail on the on the nut and i never really uh cranked it down this far but it's actually got some firm foam here that i've i've never noticed until now that's kind of interesting, but um, that's not exposed when you have your reel in there. Although it may be exposed just this much, but I would never have known it was foam unless I undid it all the way. But there you go. Uh, and it's also very nicely got a, uh, a hook here, bait keeper, whatever you want to call it. Kind of like a little bit of a different color here on the... Um, on the epoxy work and the, the wrapping, whatever we call this. It's not purple, it's sort of like a magenta or a pink, I would say. And then we've got the specs here. So the eight foot two, two piece light action casting rod, 2.49 meters, which is eight foot two, so a very long rod. It's the longest rod that you could probably classify as BFS as far as I know. And if anybody else knows of a longer rod or something even longer than seven, six, Apart from, Surinoya does have a 711 rod that has a similar casting weight to this. Maybe it's like three to 11 grams. I'm really curious about that rod actually. I don't know the name of it off the top of my head, but uh, I believe it has some sort of green detail to the bottom part of the butt. But anyway, we'll continue on. And it's got this, you know, matte black blank here and uh, Fuji Alkanite guides. You can see the little Fuji logo there on the guides. We've got two guides on the butt end. And I would say the um, the connection here is is pretty firm. Uh, not as snug as the Pure Lua Zero, but you know, just as good as anything else. So there's that piece. And then the tip section. These, um, those magenta details still. Very nice workmanship, absolutely no issues with that at all. So we have uh, two guides on the butt section. We've got three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. So 11 guides in total. And it's got a very thin tip don't know the exact diameter of the tip. I'm gonna say be very close to a millimeter. Let's actually measure that. Turn on this here. Might be a little bit hard to uh, show the camera just because of the way I've got the camera sort of orientated. But uh, maybe we can move this around. Put it on there. Oh, get it up closer to the tip. 1.6 would be a bit misleading. 
hopefully you can see that. It's, it's moving around a bit, 1.1. So yeah, it's a pretty thin tip for such a long rod. Anyway, we'll uh, catch, catch some fish with the rod and then at the end of the video, I'll give you my final thoughts. Oh yeah, there we go. We're on, we're on. Yes! Come on, where are we gonna land it? There it is, yes. There he is. All right, we've taken enough happy snaps. Let's see him go. He looks like he's pretty energized. So we've got that lure snagged up on the net. Come on, buddy. Those beautiful spots. Come on, buddy, off you go. Yes, you little legend. Oh, I'm on, I'm on, I'm on. There's a squid. Yes, we're onto a squid. Decent size too. BFS squid. Suranoia elf egging. How good is this? First squid off the beach here. Beautiful. Paid off. It definitely was a squid before that was mouthing my soft plastic. Get in here, son. Get in here. Get in here. Look at that. Oh, <laughs> he got me. <laughs> Lucky it was an ink. There's a bite. Yep, we're on. We are on. Good fish. Decent fish. Pinky maybe. Maybe barracuda. It's a gurnard. It's a gurnard. Wow, first gurnard to the channel. Oh, you fight all right actually. He's gone back down to the depths. Come on, son, get back up. I'm gonna let you go. I think it's a gurnard. Look at that for a mean looking fish. I'm just gonna pick him up. Apparently those spikes can do a bit of damage, but look at the size of those eyes and the head on that thing. Hopefully you can just flick him off here. Oh, and he's gone. Alrighty, final thoughts about the rod. Um, I would say if you're looking for a long casting rod that's versatile, uh, I would definitely buy this rod. And I don't think it's really got any competitors that are quite like this. I mean, the Pure Lua Zero, it's a, a little bit of a shorter rod. 
um, and that rod does definitely cast lighter than this rod and is a little bit more sensitive but um, if you're not casting you know super light like two grams or under two grams then um, this might be the rod for you because it's um, yeah it can it can cast up to 12 grams and I've casted the 2.5 size 2.5 um, eggies squid jigs on this um, absolutely not an issue at all um, as you saw uh, caught a caught a squid on this so it's kind of a good rod like if you're if you're at the beach and uh, or you know pier fishing and you see some squid you can just whack on a squid jig and and not be worried about snapping it uh, I don't know if I'd throw on a, a size 3 squid jig but um, I don't really want to risk trying that but the 2.5 ripped two-handed casts absolutely no issues whatsoever um, yeah I would say this rod even though the um, the marketing says it's a fast action rod I'd kind of I'd kind of disagree with that but I mean you know um, rod action is sort of a little bit up to interpretation uh, but I would say this is uh, medium fast uh, it's definitely way closer to medium fast than it is to extra fast. So um, yeah, I'd kind of, I'd say it was medium fast and, and that's not necessarily, um, you know, a negative thing. But uh, if you're looking for something that's that's definitely a fast action, the uh, Pure Lua Zero is definitely a lot faster than this rod. Um, and apart from that, probably the, the one thing that I would change if I redesigned this rod is is this here now possibly the butt section is maybe a little bit short uh, and this this grip is definitely in my mind a little bit short and a little bit I guess suboptimal uh, I have um, some like Daiwa egging rods you know eight foot six nine foot rods that are um, a little bit of a longer butt section and probably the the uh, the grip at the end of the butts at least an inch longer um, when I first started to cast this rod uh, with two hands and I would suggest that it definitely is a rod that you want to cast with two hands because it's um, you know it's quite a long um, and sort of like it's too heavy of a rod to be throwing around one-handed but yeah um, I would I would go to grab the butt section and it would just like uh, not, not that I would I would miss it or anything like that, but it just definitely felt a little bit odd. And then um, after time, I just realized that yeah, this butt could be a little bit longer, or at the very least, if this um, bottom piece was a little bit longer, it would be it would feel a lot more kind of ergonomical because you know it's it's quite quite small. But having said that, if you're looking for a long rod. I mean, you have very limited options, and this is definitely not a bad rod. It's a very good rod. Um, you know, like the, this butt section here. That's just a that's just a small little thing that I would change. And maybe for most of you, it wouldn't even bother you at all. But um, yeah, because it's you know such a, a niche kind of rod, being eight foot six and eight foot six, eight foot two, and um, and being able to cast those you know three gram uh, lures. Um, I'd say definitely, if you're looking for a long rod, definitely get this one. I have absolutely no regrets whatsoever buying this rod. Anyway guys, if you enjoyed the video, please drop a like and if you can drop a comment if you've got one or especially if you know any other longer rods that you want me to try out. I did uh, see there's that John Ku uh, Marabu or Mabaru, something like that. Um, but it's unfortunately not available in Australia. They weren't posted in Australia. Uh, so that's a bit of a bummer. But yeah, if you know any more longer rods, please give me, uh, drop a comment and let me know about it. Anyway, guys, catch you next time.